Hello, how's everybody today? Shabbat Shalom. I'm actually making a movie today. I'm, I'm doing a menorah, as you can see. What I have learned from my machine, it is a flourish if it decides to focus. And um, I'm doing a menorah, it has three colors. It gives you the colors that's on the actual PES file but you can change these on the flourish it tells you the minutes of each one it even shows you in great detail what it's doing right now which is the top it even gives you a green plus sign I kind of lost focus there um, this green plus sign tells you what it's actually doing right now so it's a great machine like I said there was only one other video uh, that was out there the machine does have a start stop mechanism. What I found out great about this machine was that you can even, so if I'm going back and I, oh gosh, I don't want to do that. Let me go back to embroidery. It, Wherever it left off, it starts again. So now I need to change my thread to the blue. I'll come back and tell you what I found out about this machine. Okay, since I hit the back button, what I've learned is, yeah, don't hit the back button while you're trying to embroider. What I have to do now is check and recheck the thread because I undid the loop. That means I undid my thread so that it won't give me this well so it does not so that I can not rethread this again in white so when I clicked back just a minute ago I it ruined my it started over I guess that's what it did so instead of rehooping and rethreading and doing everything I had to take out the thread and do exactly these steps so I'll show you here slowly okay so it's gonna go for a little bit without thread and then it's gonna give me a notification check and rethread upper thread so click OK and then you click this automatically lower the presser foot click OK then you're gonna have to hit it one more time then you click go I'm doing this because I click the back browser button to show you something and I'm learning again and it didn't work so it started my whole embroidery design all over again so I'm having to do this until it gets to the second color so I'm just showing you that way you'll know if you decide to buy a flourish um, just don't thread the top and put it through the spool and you can let it go continually until it goes to the color that you left off on and I left off on the blue which will be the the yellow to my candles but when I click that that back button it kind of started over on this machine though I will tell you when I do my monogramming um, when I do my monogramming, sometimes I forget a letter like I'll put, let's just say I type my name, Princess, and I type or I miss my C or the E, whatever, vice versa. The way you type your numbers out on here is the way it's going to go. So in other words... I missed my C, so when I retyped it again, and I typed in the C, it did all my embroidery name, and then it went back and did the C, even though it was in the middle of the name. So let's say I wrote Madeira and I left out the E, it, and I put the E last because I saw, oh crap, I forgot the E. So then it 
it monogrammed the whole Madeira, but then it came back and monogrammed the E in between the letters. So that freaked me out when I first saw that. But it still got the job done. Sorry, this is kind of crazy. Anywho, I was trying to show you something, but I guess I'll wait until after this is done. So I guess I'll label this errors on the flourish machine because this would be errors. Since I clicked this little back button right here, I have to start my whole embroidery all over again. Anyway, I'm almost done. It's almost done. I just want to give you a glance. Okay, I got it together. So my last color is 1848 Madeira Poly. But I did not use that. I just used a gold. Just a regular gold. So again, you can use any color you want. They will tell you the color that's listed inside the file. So these were the three colors that were listed. Right now there's only one. It's going to be sewing or embroidering for 13 minutes. This is the Flourish Baby Lock if you decided to get one or if you're thinking about getting one. What interested me to this one was the hoop. This is a 6x10 hoop. And let's see, the one I had before this one was a 4x4. That was the Baby Lock Sophia 2. And the only thing with the Sophia, the only bad thing about it was that it was a sewing machine and an embroidery machine in one. But it only had a 4x4 four four hoop, as opposed to this one. It has a 5x7 and a 6x10, and it has tons and tons of extra embroidery images on here. It has 8 alphabet. Let me show you while that's embroidering what the alphabet looks like. Okay, where did I start? It has... This is eight. Let me see if you can see it in the light. These are the eight alphabets that it has. These are the largest that they come. And then, let me see. And then there's two or three. There's three Japanese. Y'all, I don't know if it's Japanese or Korean or Vietnamese. I'm not trying to be ugly. But anyway, it it is that. So... I purchased mine here locally at Bernina, and they have fabulous, fabulous machines, and they have classes too, so if you buy one here, you'll go to classes for free. Um, what else can I tell you so far that I learned about this machine? It's forgiving, and other than you not pushing this back button right here while you're sewing an embroidery item, you won't have the problem I just had. So, um, it took me a while, even after reading my manual, how to work these gadgets and what they stood for. Um, there's my USB. Where is it at? Right here. It's a USB. So, um, anyway, I have tons of items in there. So, I just wanted to give you all a heads up. This would be my error video, so I'll put errors up here. Um, not to do, please don't do what I did. Let me close my little gadget here. So this is the Flourish. Anywho, thank you for looking. If you want to know something in particular before you buy this machine, or if you bought it and you're still not as experienced and you don't use it every day, just um, message me or write a comment below. I'm still new to this YouTube, so just bear with me, and they will get better as I progress. Anyway, y'all take care. Thank you for watching, and never hit this back button while you are embroidering. Thank you. Bye-bye.